Amen. Could we give that to the Lord one more time? Come on, why don't you lift up the name of Jesus? Can you worship the Lord all across the building? Don't just do it because I'm asking you, but can you actually connect with the Holy Ghost just for a moment? Can you lift your voice? Can you lift your hands? Can you extend yourself beyond tradition and connect with the power of the Holy Ghost? Why don't you reach for Jesus just for one moment? Just reach for Jesus for a little while. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's just push just for a moment. Let's just connect with the Holy Ghost. I'm encouraging you. Why don't you stretch beyond where you're at and just connect with Jesus just for a moment. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. like we missed a moment earlier we're so used to things going a certain way that we don't know how to act when Jesus shows up Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm so thankful for all the ministry that's in the room I'm talking about spiritual ministry there's a lot of that uh, but when Jesus shows up and we don't realize it tells me that we've just become just a little bit unfamiliar with his voice I was says that Jesus he's during the time of the f festivals there's all these festivities going on there's just a lot of movement and the Bible said he had to cry out with a loud voice because no one could hear his whisper Amen. And I feel like that's where we're at that God has to cry out when he gets into the room because nobody's paying attention to when he moves in silence church i'm going to ask you one more time can you not just because the music's here or because i'm here i'm going to ask you just because jesus is in the room can you connect with jesus just for a moment i'm not going to push you to do it but if if your spirit can feel what's in this place can you step beyond the ministry and the gifts and the abilities and can you just connect with jesus for a moment can you talk to jesus for a moment can you allow your spirit to reach out and just touch Jesus for a moment? Come on, when's the last time you felt Jesus? Not just, uh, not just the music, not just the singing, but you connected with Jesus. I know some of you want a message, but God's saying, do you want me? Can you connect with Jesus for a little bit? I'm not asking for a breakthrough. I'm asking for Jesus. I'm not asking for a miracle right now. I'm just asking for Jesus. Do you want Jesus this morning? Asatana la masataya. 
I'm pushing some of you because you know the last time you had the preacher lay hands on you, but you don't last time, you don't know the last time you felt the hand of the Lord move on your heart. Some of you need to get back just to connecting with Jesus. It's not about the preaching. It's not about the music. It's all about Jesus. I'm trying to stir your hungry heart. I'm trying to stir your spirit. Don't say settled and wait till what I do. God's looking for your response right now. Come on, reach for Jesus just for... I want you to hear me just for a moment. Just, just, just hear me just for a moment. Let's, let's bypass all the formalities and just, just stay with me just for a moment. I, 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 I'm so thankful uh, that this is the church of warfare. You can feel it. There's just so much energy in the room, and, and, and we can go that route. The issue is you can learn to war without God. Is Israel knew how to win into battle without God. Amen. But you can't worship without Jesus. The struggle happens is when we know how to war, but we don't know how to worship. It's dictating to us the temperature of our spirit that we just got a little bit disconnected with the Father. I want to help some of you guys here because it's been a while since you've walked with Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost. I know, I know I'm a stranger in this pulpit, but I'm going to tell you what I know the Lord is putting in my spirit. That some of you have given up walks with Jesus just to learn how to war corporately, but you don't know the last time you were hungry just for him. to tell you the struggle that we're having right now with some of us uh, we're at a time of peace in life amen there's no conflict going on that's stirring us and David speaks in 2 Samuel and he begins to talk about the reality that he looks at the cedar wood that he's living in and he looks at all the, the, the great palace that he's in and it's in that time of peace and, and in that moment he says, I'm staying in here while God has nowhere to rest his head. And because we live in a time of peace where everything is okay, there's nothing provoking us to get into the presence and the struggle when God lifts up the burden is that you let go of the hunger that you once had for him i'm not talking to people that you're not hungry for harvest and revival i understand that but i'm talking to people that you're hunger for jesus your hunger not for him to do anything but when he showed up in the room you knew how to act when he stepped in the building you knew how to approach him Amen. When he came across your pew, you knew how to worship. Amen. I'm, a I'm talking to people that have forgotten how to worship Jesus. We know how to get his attention. Here's the struggle. We're so used to entertaining God, we forgot how to engage him. Can I tell you the heartbeat of God right now is God saying, I wish you would come back to hungering after me. 
I wish you would come back to hungering after me. Not what I can give you, not what I can do for you, not what I can present to you, not for any promise. Can you just be hungry for me once again? Can you just be thirsty for me once again? Church, we need to get back to being hungry just for Jesus. Lift your hands one more time unto the Lord. <laughs> Lift your hands one more time unto the Lord. Antioch Central, I'm pleading with you. God's knocking on the door of your heart. He's saying, I see your good works. I see how you're living. I see what you're keeping. But you forgot that this was about me. You forgot that this was about intimacy with me. You forgot that this was just being close to me. Some of you are still waiting on me to say something because you're so used to being entertained. But what happened when you knew how to hit the altar just because Jesus was in the room? I wish you would hear the heartbeat of God. He's crying out, what happened to when you knew me? What happened to when you would love me? What happened to when you would worship me? I'm not asking you to war right now. I just need you to worship. I just need you to worship. If you've been disconnected the last little bit, you've just been struggling to connect with the Lord. I need you to come up here as quick as possible. If you've been struggling to connect with the Lord, I just need you to come up here as quick as possible. I just need you to make your way forward. I need you to make your way forward. Don't wait for me to give you instruction. I just need you to go back to the old paths. I just need you to start extending yourself to God. I just need you to start extending. We're so used to the formalities because formalities can help us get what we want without Jesus. But when we get back to the basics, we won't need a formula to pray people through to the Holy Ghost. We won't need to speak a word for miracles, signs, and wonders to happen. We won't need to push people to get a breakthrough. Because when Jesus shows up in the room, when Jesus shows up. I'm trying to stir your hunger again. I'm trying to stir your spirit right now. Can you be hungry for Jesus? Don't look at me, church. Go back to the place uh, that you were at when you knew you loved him, uh, when you were submitted to him, uh, when you would worship. I'm talking to families. You don't need more counseling. You need to fall back in love with Jesus. I'm not talking to people that don't want him. But if you need him right now, he's in the room. If you want him right now, he's in the you don't need another habit you don't need another vice you need to get back to the place where it was just you and Jesus just you and Jesus just you and Jesus
Inamasata. 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 Ah. Ah. Oh God, a sama na sie alabasai. I want you to hear me just for a moment. Just I want you to hear me just for a moment. This church has so much promises laying on it. Can I tell you why God sometimes holds back on fulfilling promises? Because there's a concern in the mind of God that you would get so caught up with what he's giving you that you're going to forget about him. So if you know exactly what I'm talking about, because God has been frustrated with the blessings that he's given you because the blessing has been the exact same thing that is coming between you and him before you had the job, your worship. Before he healed you of sickness, you worshipped. Before he gave you the child, you worshipped. And all of a sudden, the same thing that was a blessing now becomes an excuse. Because when you had nothing else, you knew how to depend on him. And now we just have too much. And God said, if I give them what I told them, they'll forget about me. It's not the enemy delaying the promise. It's God saying, do you realize I am? You're exceeding in great reward. I'm talking to ministry. Where's your hunger for Jesus? I feel the Holy Ghost saying I'm visiting the prayer room where you used to be but you're nowhere to be found where's your hunger for me where's your I can feel it. I can feel it so strongly. The place you used to visit with him, the time you used to spend with him, the worship you used to give for him, the hunger you had for him. God's saying, where is that? Where is that? I need some elders if you could make your way forward if you just ask is anyone across the building if you're hungry for the Lord I need you to make your way forward but if I can have some elders just to begin to pace the front I can tell you what I felt in the Holy Ghost this morning God's not here's we're so caught up on what he said we forgot how we got him to speak we got him to speak because we were hungry for him we got him to talk because we were hungry for him God saying I'm trying to transmit hunger one more time I'm trying to transmit hunger one more time when you were hungry for me when you needed me when you had no one else but you wanted me Shanamasataye. God's tired of hearing some of us talk about ministry and forgetting to talk about him. God's tired of us praying about everything else but just spending time at his feet. Jesus wants to know, are you still hungry for me? remember when you were hungry and you just stayed at the altar just a little bit longer you were so hungry you prayed just a little bit longer you were so hungry you worshiped just god saying where's the hunger for me the breakthroughs found after you find Jesus the healings found after you find Jesus the miracles found after you find Jesus church we need to find Jesus Jesus 
I feel the Holy Ghost saying, come back to that old altar. Come back to that old altar. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't cute. But you were hungry for me. You wanted me. You desired me. When prayer wasn't about systems and patterns, but prayer was about connecting with Jesus. When worship wasn't about song selection, but worship was about connecting with Jesus. When service was about service wasn't about what you can get, it was just about Jesus. I lose you to hunger for him again. I lose you to hunger for him again. I lose you to hunger for him like you did when you were sick, like you did when you were broken, like you did when you didn't know where he was. I lose you to hunger for him again. If you're sitting in the pew, I just want you to reach after Jesus for a little bit. I just want you to reach after Jesus for a little bit. I'm talking about desperate hunger. I'm talking about uncontrolled hunger. I'm talking about disturbed hunger that refuse to settle until we get a hold of Jesus again. Until we get a hold of Jesus.
want you to continue praying. Just continue praying. I just want you to hear what the Holy Ghost is wanting to tell you. The Lord is getting ready to visit this church in a season. Uh, but it's going to be different than a lot of the seasons that we've been in. I feel like God is getting ready to position us in a season of intimacy with him. Uh, it's, it's not going to be a corporate thing. Uh, it's going to be a personal thing. But I feel like God has hunger brewing beneath the surface. Uh, some of us have become so sensitive that we know how to work a church service without God. Uh, but God is saying, the place I'm going to bring you, you're not going to be able to figure it out. You're not going to be able to put the pieces together. You're not going to be able to outreach or soul win by yourself. But I feel like the Holy Ghost is getting ready to thrust us into a place where we're going to have to be completely independent on him. Can I tell you that there are some of you that God is refusing to give you answers until you're willing just to settle with the reality that you have him? I don't know who this is for, but there's some of us, we have become so dependent on what everyone else can do for us. The counseling we could receive, the books we could read, the people we can get to pray for us. And God's saying, I'm eliminating all the complexities and I'm bringing you back to the basics when it's just me. I want you to hear me. I want you to hear me. The Holy Ghost isn't here to condemn you, but the Holy Ghost is here to encourage you. Some of you have been feeling so far from him because you're so used to working without the Lord. And I tell you, the issue with growing in knowledge is that you'll have enough knowledge when you'll disregard the simplicity of finding him. Amen. We're coming back to a place where we're not going to try to figure it out. We're just going to find him. We're not going to try to have all the answers. We're just going to find him. I'm telling you, family situations would dissipate, not with another vacation, not with another session, not with another discussion. But if you would find Jesus again, if you would find the ugly altar, the broken altar, the altar we've been avoiding. Amen. So if you know what I'm talking about, the place where nobody wanted to go, but you somehow were always drawn there and you just knew how to stay there. Just to, I feel the Holy Ghost is saying, I'm going to teach you how to linger again. The issue is some of you know how to move so quick in the spirit to get what you want. You can leave before you ever really talk to him. And God say, I'm going to change the landscape of how you move so you can learn how to just stay there and linger just a little bit longer. We're entering a season of intimacy, but it's not going to be out of the way you thought. Frustration is going to produce intimacy in you because you're finally going to get tired of having all the answers, but never finding peace. You're finally going to get tired of having all the things, but never feeling satisfied. And God's saying, I'm willing to frustrate you to the place where you're just willing to sit there and just wait on me. I want you to lift your hands one more time to the Lord. I just want you to talk to God. I want you to talk to God and I want you to tell him how bad do you want him. I want you to tell him, God, my hunger hasn't been where it needs to be, but I'm asking that you would increase my hunger. If you would pray that with me right now, God, increase my hunger for you this morning. Increase my desperation for you this morning. Increase my passion. I feel passion is getting ready to visit this church again. It's not just going to be for souls. It's not going to be for heart. But there is a passion to know Jesus. That's I'm talking about that passion that made you linger just a little bit longer. You remember when you didn't know how to preach and you just had to wait on him? You remember when you didn't know how to sing and you just had to wait on him? You remember when you didn't know how to usher and teach but you just had to wait on him? You remember when you know when you felt insecure and insignificant but you just had to to I feel a passion of desperation that's getting ready to sweep this con a passion of dependency that's saying God I just need you to teach me I don't know I feel like God is bringing desperation to his people he's bringing dependency back to his people when you were intimidated and you said God I, I just need you when you didn't know how to go about it and you just said God I just need you I want you to pray that right now God teach me how to be dependent again Bring back that passion. Uh, increase my desperation. <laughs>